What's going on guys? Bruce here, 843 Fishing. I am going to do a bit of an unboxing video for you today. It's no surprise to me really due to the fact that it's something I did the research on and I reached out and purchased with my own money. So it's not an unboxing that's um, sponsored by anyone in particular. What I'm going for is if you've been watching the videos we've been putting out, we've been struggling a lot with audio. So as of recent, I've been doing a lot of research on the audio. Now, a lot of signs point to a lapel mic and that's fantastic, but in my research, I haven't found anything to stand out and tell me that a lapel mic is also gonna pick up background noise. Because a lot of times when we're out there fishing, I do wanna pick up the background noise. I want to be able to pick up the waves. I want to be able to pick up the, the, the boats passing by. I want to pick up the birds and the bugs chirping in the background. And I don't think I'll be able to get that with a lapel mic. However, my audio, as we're doing right now, would be a lot better. Um, right now, I'm just using the mic off the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. As I told you in my last video, that's all we use for filming equipment is Sherry and I both have Samsung Galaxy S9 Pluses and I have a faux pro. It's not exactly a GoPro, it's on a cheaper end, but it actually puts out pretty good um, video. Audio is garbage, but the video comes out well. I did do some research on that for um, you know a few weeks as well before we had purchased that. Sherry actually purchased it for me for a Christmas gift. But enough about the faux pro. What we're here today is we're talking audio. That's what we're here about. The last few weeks, it's been very windy where we've been fishing, and I've been trying to find ways to combat that. It's actually ironic because today the package came in. It came in about 10 o'clock this morning, and the wind is blowing 50 and 60 miles an hour out there right now. All the trees are just swaying in the wind. So today is gonna to be a good test as far as the audio goes in the video. Um, the mic that I was using in my last video, actually the whole tripod blew over in the wind and it landed on the mic and it broke the AV jack or the auxiliary jack on the microphone itself. So it wasn't recording audio anymore. Um, which is kind of a blessing in disguise because I feel like that was a very cheap microphone. I picked it up for 20 bucks on Amazon and it just plugs right into your phone. Though the directional quality of the microphone was great as I'm sitting here talking to you guys right now, it would hardly pick up anything in the background behind you. Um, it would actually di direct towards me, which allowed me to speak into the, to the camera um, from you know, greater distances. Now, however, when the wind blew through, it was really buffering me down and it was really killing the audio. So what I've done is some research, like I said, and I purchased the Comica CVM V10, VM10 K2 multifunction smartphone video kit. Purchased this off of Amazon for about 70 bucks. Um, I did already open the package for the sake of the video so I don't have to struggle with anything. Um, what I would like to do is open it up, show you what it comes with, and show you what we're going to be working with in the future as far as this little kit itself. I do like the fact that it comes with a um, protective carrying case. Is it really gonna protect from all the sand and stuff on the beach? I highly doubt it, because sand gets in everything when you're on the beach. But I do like the case. I do like that there is a home for everything that comes in the package, which is fantastic. When you first open it up, there's some manuals and stuff in here, which I do have to read um, so I can figure out how the microphone works and try to get the best, uh, the best audio out of the situation of using a smartphone. There is this little handheld device here that also acts as a tripod. It's a selfie stick, so you can sit here and you can 
you can talk and you have some good stabilization with um, selfie mode. But also if you want to use it as a tripod, the legs spread out. That's pretty fantastic in my opinion. There is a phone clamp with a shoe mount for the microphone on it. Uh, what I do like about the phone clamp is that it opens up to allow phones with a rather large case like an OtterBox or LifeProof case um, into it. And then when you get the phone in there, you clamp it down. So you get some good stabilization with that clamp. This clamp also mounts to the top of a tripod, which was a kind of a deal, um, a big deal for me because of the fact that we don't use all the best equipment. We're just getting started out. So as the channel grows, our audio and our video is gonna grow. And our tripods are not the best. The little shoe mount they have on the tripod is real wiggly at times. So I like the fact that this is really gonna stabilize the camera. Um, and then the fact that the microphone itself has a little shoe mount, slides right into the top, tighten it down. Now that's on there. You've got your cell phone in here, like so. And you've got the little shock mount for the microphone, which is fantastic too. So if it gets bumped around or anything like that, um, there's a little bit of a shock absorber there. Now this piece, like I said before, also screws on here, like so. So now I can take selfie mode. I can sit here and I can talk to you guys like so. Um, or if I wanna put the phone down in a quickie, I can set it up just like so. There is a ball mount that is on this as well. Um, and it's actually rather I mean, it's, it's tight, it's not moving with me putting force on it. You actually have to put this button in and you can move it any which way you want to move it, which I thought that was pretty cool too. Um, one of the reasons I picked this mic, other than the fact that it's a name brand mic, and there are some other mics out there like I want to say the Rode Video Mic Me is you know top of line microphone, especially for like as far as smartphones go and everything like that. But the thing I don't like about it is it actually inserts into the phone and clamps to the phone itself. I really do like the fact that this clamps to the phone holder and you run the phone jack the headphone jack to the phone rather than this being stuck onto the phone itself. Um, when my last mic, as you've seen in the last video, it clamped to the phone like that. And my major worry when it fell over was, did it do anything to the audio jack inside my phone? I have been using a headset in my phone when watching videos or taking phone calls and stuff like that and the headset in the phone is fine, but that could have been a major problem when the tripod flipped over and the microphone snapped inside the phone jack. Um, so the fact that we have this here, if it does ever tip over and hit the ground, there's a shock mount. I don't have to worry about this breaking off into the phone. Um, I think I did some good research and I made a good purchase with going this route. Um, it has the foam cover on it now, which comes off, and there is a fuzzy windsock that slides on there. However, my concern with this fuzzy windsock is it's not very fuzzy, though it does feel nice. Um, it's not very fuzzy for blocking out the wind, so we'll see how that does. You can see the old windsock for the old microphone here compared to the new one. All right, so now you can get a better representation of what this thing looks like on a flat surface. So that's tripod mode there. Then if you wanna actually pick the thing up and start talking, you can talk like so. 
you know, selfie mode, however you want to do it. You want to push the button. You want to come in at this angle up here. You know, some people say they look better from above, you know, as opposed to some goofy looking guy like me looking into the camera. Um, but I also want to show you how this thing actually clips into the phone. As you can see, or the phone clips into it, I'm sorry. Um, as you can see, the clamp goes up actually pretty high. This is Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus with a, it's, it's a rather slim case. Um, there is no otter box on it right now, but you can see there's plenty of room for it to slide in there. So you slide her in, twist this little screw up here, and it's going to clamp down. That's pretty good there. Give it a little bit more just to tweak it. Um, and then this gray end actually goes into the Android phone. Like so. There you have it. That's what it looks like. We're going to go outside. We're going to go ahead and test it out right now. All right, guys. We are outside. Ran into a little bit of a technical difficulty. Right out of the gate. Um, before I get to that, let's go ahead and start with... The microphone is not plugged in right now. We are videoing with raw audio from the phone's mic itself. So we are not filming in audio or recording audio via the microphone yet. I will plug it in here in just a few minutes. I want to give a chance for the wind to blow through the phone and um, kind of disrupt the audio a little bit and see what the difference is like between the phone's audio and the microphone itself. However, our technical difficulty is, and for somebody that wants to or is looking to purchase this item, the audio jack did not fit through my case phone or my phone case. Um, yeah, case phone. It didn't fit through my case phone. So I had to take the case off, which I wasn't a big fan of. However, I was thinking that life proof cases, they come with the attachment that screws into the case itself to keep the phone watertight. That would work great for this situation. OtterBox, I think they have a little bit bigger of an audio jack opening than the case I do have on my phone. The case I do have on my phone is kind of slim fitting due to the fact that I hate having a big bulky phone, but I like the big screen size. So, you know, that's just one of those things that we have to deal with as far as that. Anyhow, as you can see, I'm going to turn you around here. You can see the trees blowing. They're blowing pretty good. I'll stand here for a minute. Try to take some shots. I think that the stabilization via the selfie grip is fantastic. Um, if you've ever tried to take a selfie with your phone, you accidentally mash buttons. It ends up blowing you out of the, you know, the screen you're in. You go back to the home screen or you pull up um, Bixby or you actually pull up your Samsung Pay. So, you know, it can be difficult sometimes when you're just holding the phone in your hand. But with this grip, I mean, it's fantastic. It's comfortable. It's really well made. It's sturdy. I think it's a, a good investment on my part. We did have the hiccup with the audio jack, but I don't think that's anything that I'm going to be too concerned about. As I can always buy another case for, you know, 10 to $20. We're gonna go ahead and plug the microphone in right now and we'll see how the audio sounds with that. All right guys, the phone is now recording video and audio through the microphone itself. Now that is a good wind gust, so I'm hoping to hear how that sounds when I put the video together in the editing software. Um, it is not recording video through the microphone. <laughs> it is recording video through the camera lens. 
the audio is going through the microphone. Um, we are out here at the park in my neighborhood. Um, we live in a condo in Myrtle Beach and we are at the neighborhood park trying to get that wind to blow through the mic and see how the audio compares to the first part of this um, video where it was solely off of the audio was solely off of the camera's microphone now I want to give a big shout out to cruising Canada the cruising Canada YouTube channel if you haven't ever seen the Cruising Canada YouTube channel, swing by and check it out. His review of this smartphone videoing package is one of the reasons why I purchased the mic. Um, his review of it is top notch, as well as his viewer interaction. His viewer interaction is top notch, and the reason I say that is, as a fishing YouTube channel, I've commented on some of the bigger name YouTube channels on some of their videos that, hey, great shots, like the video, awesome work, or even another great video, keep up the great work, and try to encourage them a little bit. And sometimes it takes, sometimes they don't respond at all. Sometimes it takes two or three days for them to respond. However, Cruising Canada, I sent them a question. I commented a question to him on the video after I watched it and he replied within the first 15 minutes. I then replied to his reply and he came right back with it. So, you know, his viewer interaction is fantastic. You know, if you have questions about stuff, he's going to answer them and he's going to give you an honest review. Though his, his equipment is by far better than mine and his exper expertise level as far as putting these reviews together is through the roof as he has many 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 different videos out there he has numerous supply of videos on his channel um, so he's been around the block for a while he knows what's going on and he does give a good review now if you're just getting into shooting video for YouTube or you are a lot like me, you don't have a lot of experience with YouTube. I hope that this review does help you in some sort of way. And if it does, you know, give us some feedback in that comment section. We could always use the viewer interaction ourselves. Um, and that's something that I do want to try to stay on top of. So if you could drop some info or some questions, or you know, even give us some feedback in the questions or comments section below and um, we'd like to reply and you know carry on a conversation with you now I'm coming over here to some air conditioning units um, HVAC units that are behind the microphone and I want to see how the audio comes out being that I'm in front of the microphone I want to see how the audio comes out with that loud noise in the background so I'm going to go ahead and spin the mic around right now. The air conditioning units are on and they are pumping right now. So I'll spin this around, let you get the front side of the audio, and then turn you back around and see what the difference is. So there's the air conditioning units, the condos. They're going full tilt right now. Now we bring the microphone pointed back at us and see how that audio is. Very interested to see how any of this stuff comes out in the editing software. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. But one of the things I want to do is I had the microphone unplugged for the beginning part of this whole scenario. The microphone's been plugged in now for a few minutes while I talk to you. Um, we take... We took a couple different um, variations of background noise with the wind, the air conditioner units and stuff like that with the mic plugged in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug the mic now and go back to straight phone audio and see how that comes out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. We are straight to phone microphone. All the audio is being recorded through the phone itself now, not through the microphone that we had purchased. 
So interested to see how that comes out. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you did, you know, leave us some feedback in the comment section, like I said earlier. And we are gonna go out and try to put together a fishing video right now. It's gonna be two parts. It's going to be this review alone on the channel. And then we're gonna to have today's um, bass fishing adventure because Sherry's never caught a bass before. So what I'd like to do is get her out to a bass pond somewhere and see if we can't get her to catch a bass, her very first bass. So that's what we're gonna go try to do. If you liked it, subscribe to it. Hit the little bell notification button so that way you get notified every time we put out a new video, especially the upcoming bass video that we're gonna try to do. Follow us on Facebook for daily content. 843 fishing, two words in the search bar. Instagram, 843 fishing, one word in the search bar, and we'll come up. We're on there daily, updating information, sometimes about us, sometimes about fishing videos that we see in the area, fishing information that we have in the area by way of tournaments or other pages. We always try to share and have daily content on those two pages. So check us out there. Give us a like. Give us a follow. And give us a subscribe here at the channel. We'll see you on the next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate it. Thanks.